Hey guys, Mr. Zigner here. We uh, are going to take care of one of the problems that were in your packet. Uh, this is the, if you want to find this worksheet, 8.3 practice B. Uh, I was asked about problem number five, so I thought I would make a quick video on how to get through this particular problem. So here we go. Alrighty. So it says find the radius. So we're actually looking for the radius of a sphere with the given volume. So there's our volume, 2,304 pi yards cubed. Alrighty. So the formula for a, uh, the volume of a sphere is V equals four thirds pi R cubed or to the third power. Now they don't ask us to find the volume. It looks like they're actually giving us the volume and we have to find the radius. So let's just um, plug this number in where it belongs. So it's the volume number. So I'm just going to put that number right here, 2304 pi, and uh, just bring this stuff down, 4 thirds pi r cubed. All right, now taking a look at this, what could I do to simplify? Oh, how about this? There's a pi on both sides being multiplied, so let's get rid of that. So divide left and right sides by pi. And again, the reason I did that was to simplify the problem. There, those pi's are gone, and those pi's are gone. Alrighty, let's see what we have. So now it says 2,304 equals 4 thirds r to the third power. All right, we're a little closer. Let's see now. If I want to figure out r, I need to get rid of this 4 thirds. And I know what I'm going to do. The way to get rid of four thirds, we did talk about this in class, would be to multiply by the, do you remember it? Multiplicative inverse, uh, the reciprocal. So we're going to multiply both sides by, whoops, three fourths. So multiply by three fourths. Same thing on both sides. That cancels out because that would end up being 12 over 12, and 12 divided by 12 is 1. And that would cancel out, leaving me this r to the third power all by itself. r to the third power. Okay. But I have to solve this. Okay. Well, let's shorten things up and just grab the calculator. I did say you guys could use calculators for this. Um, clear that out. And what do we have? 3 fourths times 2,304. So I'm going to just make 3 fourths into 3 divided by 4. And times... Let's see, 2304, 2304. And that equals 1728. Okay, so, yep, still on red, 1728. But that's still not the answer because that says uh, r to the third power, and we need to know just what r equals. So, let's see, the opposite of cubing would be the cube root. Now, all my students know we did this quite a while ago, but we did work on cube roots. Now, the cube root of r cubed, perfect. That's r. The r is all by itself now. The problem is we have to remember what the cube root of 1,728 is. Now, I think I remember, um, but I don't think I noticed a cube root function on my calculator. And nope, nope, nope. I don't see a cube root. So let's just, uh, I think it's 12. Let me, let me just try that out here. So 12 times 12 times 12. Hopefully I'm right. We'll adjust our guess if I'm wrong. Oh yeah, I nailed it. So 1,728. Yep, perfect. So it looks like it's 12 times 12 times 12. So the cube root of 1,728 is 12. Now what were we measuring in? Yards. So the radius of this sphere would be 12 yards. All right, hope that was helpful, and I miss you guys. I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm looking forward to getting all those packets soon, and I'll get those graded, and then we'll start on Chapter 3, which is about angles and triangles. All right, stay tuned. We'll be in touch. Bye, guys.